cut ties with Sussex, has shocked to the core as his grudge with Usain Bolt badly hits the rocks. Usain Bolt claimed that he has lost touch with Prince Harry who is about married life now and admitted that they haven't talked in a while. The Olympic legend was once a close pal of Harry when he was a bachelor and they would socialize together but it appears as though the prince has moved on with his life. The pair became friends in 2012 during Harry's Caribbean tour, after the cheeky prince beat Bolt in a sprint race by jumping the start gun. Since moving to the US with Meghan Markle, Harry appears to have changed his network of friends and several people including celebrities have felt ignored. Bolt said that he was on such good terms with Harry that he offered to help arrange his stag do, it is reported. However the sprinter has now revealed he was ghosted by by Prince Harry after he met the Duchess, 40, telling the son, I think he got really serious, really quickly. He is about married life and good for it now so has left that life behind now. I haven't talked to him in a while but I still would like to keep in contact. Prince Harry headed to Jamaica in March 2012 to meet the sprinter at the Usain Bolt track at the University of the West Indies as part of a Diamond Jubilee tour, representing the Queen. As well as Jamaica, he visited Belize, the Bahamas and Brazil. The bear, looking very fresh-faced, posed in the sprinter's signature Lightning Bolt style together before Usain presented the royal with his own Harry Can Bolt t-shirt. At the time, the pair joked around, and the fastest man in the world even let the prince win when they hit the track. Meanwhile the two exchanged friendly Twitter messages in 2016, with Harry challenging Usain to a rerun of the race. And in 2017, days after Harry announced his engagement to Meghan, Usain vowed to organize three stagdos for the royal ahead of their nuptials. It has previously been reported that the Duke's friendship with several members of his former inner circle cooled or ended altogether after he met Meghan. In the run-up to the wedding, Prince Harry was said to have frozen out some of his old posse because Meghan doesn't want any temptations as they prepare to start a family. Insiders said the Duke dropped close friends including former wingman Tom Skippy and Skip in case they're a bad influence. He and another one of Harry's friends, PR guru Astrid Harbord, were said to have been airbrushed out. Tom, who is a banker, was one of Harry's childhood friends from Eton, and was considered to be his wingman. In other news, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are set to split up their work next year to each focus on causes closer to them, a royal correspondent has claimed. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have allegedly been advised by the collaborators to split and work independently for a strong political voice, royal expert Neil Sean claimed. The royal couple stepped down from their senior working roles within the royal family in 2020, with insiders claiming Meghan struggled with not having her own political voice anymore. The Duchess is reportedly contemplating taking on a bigger role as an activist in support of wider societal equality. Mr. Sean told his YouTube channel, it looks like in 2022 they could be heading for a split and here's the reason why. Those very expensive people that they pay thousands of pounds to every month from all of those deals that we all report on basically said, look it would work better if you were independent of each other. He claimed, as we know Meghan Markle wants to become some sort of political figure whatever story they're painted out that is the true story. She wants to become an activist and of course a champion of rights whether that be women, men, trans. That seemingly does seem to be the route that she wants to go down.